We cover a wide range of different topics on this channel. Sometimes we cover new cars coming to market. Other times we cover used cars you can buy. Sometimes we don't even cover cars at all. And sometimes we roll out advice videos. And as it's this time of year for most of the Northern Hemisphere and the weird screwed up weather patterns bringing cold weather a lot further south a lot sooner than many expected, we figured it was time to give you another video helping you prepare for winter weather. Yeah, I know, we've made this video before, but with more people than ever before watching this channel, we felt it was time to revisit this old classic. So here are our top tips on surviving winter with your electric car. Let's start with the obvious. Like any car, you're going to find winter driving a whole lot more pleasurable and a whole lot safer if your car has the right shoes fitted. Winter tires are single-handedly the best thing I think you can do to improve your winter driving experience hands down. And in an electric vehicle where those motors produce a huge amount of torque, there are really no excuses for not putting decent winter tires on your vehicle. Sure, it is possible to drive around on the all season tires that your car probably came with. But in the case of an electric vehicle, they are usually all seasons built to prioritize efficiency rather than grip. And when the temperature drops, the compounds in those all seasons will cause the tire to lose some of its suppleness and thus grip. Combine that with the torque of electric motors and you're in wheel spin city. Replacing those tires with a decent non-studded set of winter tires will likely improve your driving experience. And when you're looking, do check the reviews to see which winter tires are best suited to your EV. I personally love Nokian winter tires as they're great on efficiency and grip. And no, we're not being sponsored by them. Just the downside is that they are pricey. But I find they do at least last three or maybe even four seasons quite easily. With tyres out of the way, let's examine the other big challenge to winter driving in an EV, keeping you and the car warm. And for that, preheating is your friend. If you can, park inside overnight when you charge and keep your car plugged in until you need to leave in the morning. Most modern EVs have climate control timers that you can set to come on just before you leave, allowing the car to warm up using the mains electricity, not electricity from the battery pack. Keeping a preconditioned car warm uses a lot less power on your drive than warming it up from freezing and then having to keep it warm. Some cars don't actually have climate control timers, but they do have remote control through the telematics like the Chevrolet Bolt does. It doesn't have a timer, which I personally find super frustrating, but there is a special button on the key fob that you can press to precondition the car, or as I said, you can precondition using the smartphone app. I should also note that when it comes to timers, it's also advisable, especially in winter, to set your car so that it completes charging just as you're getting the preconditioning going. This is especially useful in cars like the early Nissan Leafs, where letting the car charge hours before you need it can actually result in a slight loss of range before you leave, because all lithium ion cells will have a little self-discharge, but smaller capacity cars will show more of that in cold weather. You may want to keep the car plugged in to help precondition it in the morning, but there's also another benefit to keeping your car plugged in. It can help ensure that the battery itself stays warm. In some cases, cars like the Chevrolet Bolt TV and all of Tesla's lineup, as well as the BMW i3 and many others, keeping your car plugged in in cold weather will allow the car to use mains electricity to power its thermal battery management system, meaning it won't be zapping precious battery power to keep the batteries operating at peak performance. And while the Nissan Leaf doesn't have thermal battery management like those other cars, Leafs and many other non-active thermally managed battery pack cars do use mains electricity to run their battery heater pads, which, while less effective, also help keep the worst of the cold at bay. If your car's battery is operating at optimum temperature when you unplug it, you're less likely to suffer any cold-related performance issues because just like us, batteries can get a little sluggish when they're cold. They prefer to be about the same room temperature as we all do. When it comes to driving your car in the cold, you shouldn't find that many differences to any other car. Although I should note that for long distance trips, you will notice that the range drops more quickly than it would during the summer. That's caused by a myriad of things from needing to keep the heater running to keep the car warm. I should note a heat pump system will use less electricity to keep you warm than a resistive heating system. So do check to see which your car has but also things like having to deal with less than ideal road conditions will affect range. 
pushing snow slush or range out of the way with your tires uses more energy than just moving the car along a perfectly dry road. Then there's also the fact that colder air is more dense, so even if it's a beautiful, crisp, dry day, your range will suffer a little. In my experience, if you expect to get between 10 and 15% less range than you would in the summer, if the temperature is hovering around freezing point, in extreme, extreme cold, however, your range loss will be larger, just like your fuel economy will drop in an internal combustion engine in extreme cold due to things like richer fuel mixes, higher oil viscosity and stuff like that. I've driven electric cars in the Arctic and with the right tyres and the right attitude, it's possible to enjoy winter driving in an EV just like you would in any other car. And if you follow the tips I've laid out, you'll minimise the effect the cold weather will have on you and your vehicle. Ignore them and things won't be so much fun. Have I missed any winter tips and tricks? What do you do in the winter in your EV? And what tyres do you recommend to other drivers? Leave your thoughts below. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon. Feed our coffee habit or support our LA Auto Show coverage with Kofi or visit our swag store. I'll be back soon with more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, keep evolving.